Good morning, I'm Crystal. This is Ben. These, this is an interesting litter. First off, it's the largest litter that Otsego Hedgehogs has ever had in any year that we've ever been in business. Eight babies, wow. And another more interesting thing is, is that when Hazel had her babies, she started bringing them out and dropping them off in a water dish and abandoning them. And Angel is a sister of hers that had babies that were three weeks old. I didn't have any other mama that I could put newborn babies with. And so I took Angel's three babies and put them with another like aged hedgehog. And I put these eight babies underneath of her, not knowing if she would take them. She raised all eight babies. They are a little on the still a smaller size. So they're eight weeks old. I normally put hedgehogs on at six weeks old, but I, I kept them back. This is a silver litter. So it's a really unique, rare litter. I'm so impressed. And then funny thing is that her, her name is Angel. What an angel that she did raise yeah. these babies to. But they're as sweet as can be. This one's got a little red dot on his butt. So he's a silver hedgehog, meaning his body is gray, and his quills have a silver hue to him. His ears and his face have a little silver hue to them. Really quite cool. He, they are really, it's a really unique color, and it's just really quite cool. I didn't actually think that this litter would survive. I really didn't. With eight babies and not having a, having a surrogate mom that... You know, she's winding down her weaning at that stage at like three, four weeks old. She's really leading her babies to food. She's teaching them how to eat. She's she's starting to wind down on the process. And so for her to accept these babies and then just care for them as her own, was it was awesome. that was so awesome. We checked on them every day, but tried not to disturb them too much because I didn't want her to destroy the litter, which is really quite common for hedgehogs. You do want a hotel. I know, because you're so friendly. There we go. Now I got gotcha. you. Oh, look, at I got red Kool-Aid still all over my hand. <laughs> crystal light. Oh, my gosh. It looks like blood. Heck, I, I'm, I, I have crystal light on my hand. <laughs> so I'm not going to start my video over. But Those of you who don't know, my wife is a little on the classy side. Oh, my gosh. So much so. I'm trying to add a packet of crystal light to a water bottle. Okay, this one I did like a little bronze, bronze color. Yeah. And this is a boy, so I use brown for boy. Whee. Wee, <laughs> wee. There you go. Yeah. Still working on face petting. I really tried not to disturb this litter, um, just because of those facts that I was just telling you. That if I left this mom to bond with these babies and didn't disturb them. Okay, so this little boy's got a blue dot on his butt. He's got a little bit more brown speckling in him. Um, mom was a brown, dad is a silver. And so this one kind of, if you we look at color-wise a little bit more, he's got a little bit, um, just a really beautiful light brown. Mm -hmm. Come on out. He's like, look at his little nose going like crazy. He smells all the new smells. I've got two pups in this room right now, and I have another litter behind us as well that I'll be videotaping next. So this little one's a little trepidatious. Hi. Oh, there you come out. Hi. There you go. Hello, little dude. Oh, that's cute. That's super cute. That's a good picture. Yes. I'm gonna pet your little ears. And go explore in the table. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I hear this other litter behind me is very quite noisy. <laughs> okay, this one's got an orange dot. I'm sure it's going to be boy because I kind of stick with the same colors. Yep, so boy. He's got a lot more brown, so he takes after mom, the original mom, Hazel. We also really want to encourage spending time on their back at this age. He puts his quills back really nice and quickly. 
we want to spend time on their back because what he's trying to do is flip over and I want to get it I want him to teach him that his tummy is still safe even though you know his fur is exposed and he doesn't have his quills to protect him when he's on his back so he's really trying to to flip over during an adoption appointment I go over handling um, tips I go over really specific on food I also show you how to trim nails we kind of stand up to the door and we do a nail trim together so I don't have all these guys' nails trimmed right now because I think it's more important for me to teach my clients how to do it um, instead of doing it for them ahead of time there he's a little mm -hmm. cutie you go explore too yeah he's definitely got lots more brown than mm -hmm. the first couple it's a really a mixed litter that half took after mom and half took after dad but it's interesting, too, that even the brown ones, their quill tip still has a silver hue to it. Oh, they're going to play ball. Okay, this little one's got a mint green dot on her butt. She's really just an even mix between the brown and the silver. Here's her little light face. She's got really light ghost stripe like on her forehead but it's it's faint Hi. Yeah, trying to like keep my kool-aid hand out of the picture yeah, oops sorry i came in a little too fast for you mm -hmm. can we hold hands yeah Try the wheel. Eight babies, so small. Our last largest litter is seven. Yeah. And we've only a handful of time in the last seven years, or 15 years have had um, litters of seven, but um, never have we had an eight. Yeah, it was awesome. This one's a little itty bitty peanut. So she's got a light pink dot on her butt. She's got really a lot of the silver color. Mm -hmm. She is the runt of the bunch. Runt doesn't mean bad. It's runt just, just means that somebody had to get less milk. Somebody had to be smaller, and this one was it. She was actually so tiny that when we really got a look at the litter, I didn't know if she would make it or not. But she's doing good. But she's great. She's thriving. Yeah. Hi. Well, hello. Yes. Hmm. They smell everything. Totally yeah. sniffing it out. Come on up. Yeah, that's okay. You smell me? There. You hold hands? Oh, no. There you go. Yeah. Quills kind of go back real quickly. Their bodies are so interesting when they're this dark. So mm -hmm. bodies are gray. If we were to pluck all of their beautiful quills off of them, you would see a really dark gray body and their ears and faces, instead of them being brown, are gray. Look at this one coming out of the tube. Can you get another one looking at herself back there in the mirror? Hedgehogs love mirrors. We put mirrors in our habitats because it's just so fascinating to us how many times our hedgehogs will sit and stare at themselves in the mirror. And even if you put it like a smaller mirror, it's like they do peekaboo. They're looking at the side of the mirror and mm -hmm. then they're looking at themselves and looking at the side of the mirror. Trying to figure out yeah. if it's another hedgehog. Right. Okay, so this one's got a little lavender dot on her butt. And she's got lots of silver. She's got some brown kind of more in her body. She's Her body actually seems more brown than it does gray. So she's really got a combination of mom and dad. Hello. Tummy. Yeah, 
you, sweetie. Okay, the last of the eight has a dark purple dot on her butt. So we'll have to, I leave for Arizona today and Ben will be here doing adoption appointments this week. Um, if you happen to be adopting the week of February 7th to the 11th. I have a yeah. mom in Arizona that's kind of beginning phases of dementia. So I'm going down dealing with doctor appointments. But Ben will be here doing adoption appointments. And um, so you have to pay attention when you, the yes. dark purple and a light purple, that there's two different. I might just do a retouch up on that one. Just give Make it a little there. darker? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good thing. Which one was the light purple? Is that this one? Yeah, we just set it out. So they actually have a little bit of a different look. One's Slightly browner. Slightly darker, yeah. Yeah, browner, browner. silver. She's a little bit more nervous now. She was sleeping when I just picked her up, so I'm gonna just kind of claim her forehead. I'll go this way. Kind of claim her forehead. I teach people this during an adoption appointment quite a bit. Really, this is the most vulnerable <clears throat> place right here on a hedgehog is their forehead. So if I can teach her that petting her forehead, even though she's showing me she's nervous, I'm gonna still kind of show her that, no, you're safe, I'm just petting it. Whoop. I hate it when they jump. Okay, it was only a couple of inches off. You're just jumping. Jumped right out of my hand. Yeah, you're okay. She might need an, she might need a little bit more time. So I can always put her unavailable right now and just give her a little bit more time of some handling. She's a little bit more nervous. Just playing with the spring. You know, we buy these little cat pack of toys at Walmart. I'll just show a whole bunch of these little things. There's like this, this, these little springs that are in here. This came in here. I think it's a $5 pack of little toys. And it's so funny because I'm just going to mm -hmm. kind of gather the whole pack of stuff here. We will have these things in the habitat. And if we're going to videotape a litter like this the night before, we'll put these guys on the table so they can really explore and spend a night of fun on the adoption table. But these, this little group of toys will appear in there, on the wheel, on the litter box. They'll have them in the food. So like they carry and push these things all over. So I do recommend make your habitat interesting. You know, these things are just um, PetSmart or Amazon or something. So there's lots of little toys that you can get for you know, and I just think they're sensory toys. You know, if they can push them around, move them around, if they find them interesting, then it makes their habitat more appealing to them. They don't get bored. I didn't get any picture of the brown dot. You know what? I think I'm going to hold her back. Brown dot? Or dark browner, pur oh, dark purple. Dark purple. The, browner. I, well, I think I might have to just hold her back a week. Okay. See, so, yeah, I don't think she's really ready. So I'm mm -hmm. just going to... I'll do a separate video on her in another week. Maybe when I get back from town, see how she's doing. If you feel like you've got good hedgehog experience holding a hedgehog and that you have a calm, quiet environment, then she would probably be good. But right now it looks like, to me, I think she just needs another week of kind of us holding her and maintaining. Yeah, she's a little nervous. Last chance. That's sparkly mm -hmm. camera. There you go. Well, you are cute. Yeah. There's just a lot going on in here, isn't there? <laughs> I mean, she lets me pet, pet her face nicely. She's just showing she's a little more nervous. But their quills went back, so that was just a minute of holding her, and quills went back yeah. real quickly. She might be alright. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.